Campbell. This time. Oh, bold! Clean through an on leg stump. That's the answer. Stella Campbell. A few weeks ago, when Stella took seven for, I think, 25. What impact could she have at this ground and if it's a similar sort of wicket? Yeah, it's, it's obviously going to be pretty interesting what wicket we do have um, for the first day of the test match. Uh, yeah, when we played ACT down here for New South Wales, Stella was almost unplayable and to have her back into the test squad is really exciting. I guess the confidence that she can take out of that match going into this match is really exciting to be on her team and yeah, hopefully if she does play, she can, I guess, replicate that. Like we've spoken about before, we don't play a lot of it. And in comparison to the men where they have five test match series where they obviously have played a lot of long format cricket, they get to play Sheffield Shield, which is four day cricket as well, to get them prepared for test matches where we play 50 overs and, and T20s for our domestic league. So you only really get exposed to long format cricket when you do play for Australia. Luckily this year we have two test matches, so we can kind of go off what we did well in that India game and I guess what we didn't do as well. And I guess just trying to fine tune those little test, moments. I think with the bat and, and what we pride ourselves on is being that really positive and attacking batter when we are out in the middle. And I think sometimes that might not happen in test match cricket because you don't want to lose your wicket playing a silly shot, which you might be able to get away with in the shorter format. So maybe it's taking more calculated risks throughout the test match and still being really positive rather than just trying to defend your wicket. And do you go outside this group to talk to other test players who've got more experience? I've spoken from a bowling perspective to Nathan Lyon a little bit and just to see what he does any differently but I think it's just about being able to stack up dot balls and build that pressure because that's what brings wickets in test match cricket is when you have a couple of maidens in a row then the batters feel like they need to then play a scoring shot. Just one on the pairs actually. What's she been like since coming back in? I think she is built for this type of format and yet yeah, you just look at the game that she plays and it's just so patient, maybe in comparison to myself, where sometimes you take a few more risks but she takes those real calculated risks when it's when it's necessary and I think that's why she's been so dominant in this format and also with the ball, being able to swing the ball up the top and, and hit those really good areas is really good for us with a pretty inexperienced bowling attack. But yeah, I'm just really looking forward to what she can do.